Hi there, Casey here from Mass and Labs, and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite things about Capture One, and that is assigning shortcuts. Now, before, and we had made a video in the past about how to assign shortcuts from your drop down menu to a keyboard function, but Capture One has come out with an update, and maybe I just missed it, but it was something I was excited about and wanted to show you, where you can assign any of these styles to a keyboard shortcut. So, to do that, I'll go ahead, I'm just going to go in, down into one singular photo at a time, and I am going to right click and we'll say assign shortcut on cinema 400 so with this i'm going to go ahead and i'll just use let's see command shift one i know it doesn't do anything else that will interrupt um, but now if i hit command shift one on this photo you can see that it edits now i'll just do our three-step workflow i will adjust the exposure and correct for white balance out a little magenta and i will cool this off and there you go okay so that's how fast that was. Now, if we wanted to, one of my other favorite things to do in Capture One especially, and I'm gonna go ahead, we'll just hit reset. I'll hit my Command Shift One, bring that back, bring up the style again. We can go to the speed edits. Um, and for these, I will go ahead, I'm gonna hold down my first button and you can see as I hold down the button for exposure, uh, for me, it's set up as Q. You can see this exposure slider. Now, if I click on this photo and I just drag to the left and right, it's changing the exposure. So for me, I think I want to go a little brighter. Now, if I hold down the one button, you can see that this has changed to Kelvin. We can do the same thing. So I can pull this back. And if I want to add magenta, I'll hold down my two button and I can push a little bit of that in there. So with Q one and two, I have quickly edited this, although I will add a little bit more magenta. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks like the tint slider is a little delicate, but that's okay. Um, so, okay, there we go. There is our three-step edit with the speed tool. So let's go ahead, we'll move on to this next image. We'll do the same thing. I'm gonna hit Command Shift one, boom, edits our photo. We'll hold down Q. I'm gonna drag up my exposure a little bit. I'll hold down one and I'll cool this off. And let's see, I put it, there we go. And I don't know, the magenta was looking pretty good, but maybe I could add just a touch there. Now, if I wanted to, and especially for speed editing and for tone control, I think this is really cool. So I could go ahead and I could make any of our tone profiles act as one of these shortcuts too. So if I like all soft, I know I will use that in situations a lot when I'm trying to pull back up the highlights or the shadows, I can go ahead and assign that to something else. So I'll do Command Shift 2. Now, uh, as I'm using a Mac, I know if I go further and I do Command Shift 3, that'll be uh, taking a screenshot, which is not exactly what I wanna do. But, um, so for this, we'll go ahead, I'll hit Command Shift 2, and there you can see it has automatically applied this. So I'll go here, we'll do this again. Command Shift 1, that applies to style. Um, I actually think the exposure is pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll just cool it off a little bit. And again, there is some contrast going on, but no problem. Command Shift 2 and all soft is applied just like that. And you can see that that comes back. So here's that before and after, and you can see it's just bringing up the detail in the shadows and bringing back some of those highlight details as well. Um, okay, now let's move on and say we wanted to overwrite something. So say I wanted to make this photo um, I wanted this to be Cinema 50. I can go ahead, I sign my shortcut again, and if I do Command Shift 1, it says, oh, this is already applied, and we'll, so Cinema 400 will be reassigned. But I don't want that, so let's go ahead and we'll try that one more time. I didn't mean to hit the minus button, um, and I will hit, let's see, eh, I'll do Command Shift S, why not? Um, so, okay, there we go, Command Shift S, and there you go. Now you can see that Cinema 50 has been applied. Hold down Q, bring up my exposure, there we go. And actually, let's see. I'm going to try my tint first on this. And we'll cool that off a little bit. There you go. Man, that looks awesome. Okay. So here is our quick before and after. And again, with these speed tools, it really makes editing really quick and easy. If I right click on this, so let's go ahead. I'll assign this shortcut and we'll just do Command Shift D. Oh, no, that's my primary variant. I already have that set up. Command Shift S, no, Command Shift A, there we go. Okay, so now I have this. So we have our three. So now I can go from Cinema 50, I can go right to Cinema 400, and we can move to Cinema Double X so quickly and easily. Now, if you're watching your check marks here, you can see those check marks go away as well. Um, and it, all this is doing is really just, it's alleviating your need to have to go all the way over here, take your eyes off of what's happening in your frame. So for this, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead, I will straighten that because it's bothering me. And for this, I'm gonna use Cinema Double X. I love, love, love 
this. I'll hold down my Q button. I'm going to drag up my exposure a little bit and apply all soft. And actually, I think I went a little too ham on that exposure. I'm going to pull this down again. And there you go. That's how easy it is to get a quick edit. Now, for our last photo, uh, just a photo I absolutely love um, that I took in. All these photos were taken in Devon in the UK uh, at this beautiful wedding venue. And let's see. I'll go ahead and I'm going to... We're going to use Cinema 400. I love Cinema 400. It's easily one of my favorites. I'm going to bring up my exposure by holding down my Q button. I'm going to... Let's see, I'm gonna add a little magenta and cool it off. Maybe I'll add a little bit more. Maybe a little more exposure. Whoa, <laughs> I went a little too far. Okay, um, but there you go. That is how easy it is to set up this sort of new functionality when it comes to uh, uh, editing your, your work. In any case, there you go. Here are all of these photos. We'll do a quick before and after with every single one. Here's our before and after. And it was so easy. I really, really love this uh, shortcut tool and I hope you guys are able to utilize it as well. If you do have any more questions, always feel free to reach out to us at support at massinlabs.com or directly at m.me forward slash massinlabs. Until next time, have a great day and happy editing.